Good morning, everybody, and good morning, ladies. So Dad's just coming up the first row. Turns out I didn't quite close the gate properly this morning when I got my raincoat and my jacket on. So they uh, ended up just out here in front of the uh, yard here. So, well, it was the main gate in the uh, up the row. So they ended up on this side of the uh, gate. So I just got to push these girls back in, push them into the cow shed. We'll get in there and get to Malkin. Come on. Here's Carly. Come on, girls. Couple bullying there. Carly! There we go. The girls headed off. They finally headed off the, that row. One row went that way. There's already some in the paddock down there. And uh, waiting on 127. Come on, girl. That's it. 188 first. Ah, uh, book is going well today. Tag is going to be here nice and early, 8.30. It's better, much better. <laughs> Here he is, pushing the cows up. <laughs> right, we'll keep milking. Girls, I'm milking well today. We won't even crack, we'll probably, hopefully we crack the 5,000 today because remember he did take 5, 000, uh, 6,500 litres yesterday, so probably 700 litres off. So probably gonna crack into the fives. Just well, going well this morning. Girls are there, just leaving. Still that Matt's doing its job. Dad said there's still very little stones on the yard. He's really half washed the yard. And we're just bringing the last row in now. Come on, girls. Pop, come on. Pop, come on. Okay. Yeah, washing the yard. There we go, they're ranked up. We just start putting the uh, acid through, cold acid. Because it was a hot, which is like a hot alkaline day. Yeah, check the cups, they're all going. Working well. We catch some acid as well for our hands, so we wash our hands and arms. After milking, after washing up. Yeah. I'm not too sure what we're up to today, but we are going up the run off to go and AB some more heifers today. Dad said there's only three days of that left. Still quite a fair way down tonight, today. They're right down, uh, Probably two paddocks ahead of where they were last night. Pretty far, that's alright. Cups are washing well. Just checking up on them. Got their meal, they got their milk, and the tanker should be here in about 15 minutes. Alright, how are you going? Just about done. Jeepers, still going a bit. Alright. So Dad's really locked the cows away, so we're off to uh, go up to Granddad's run off there. We'll go see the cows when we get back. We were going to go do some spreading, but there's just not enough there to do yet. So they're off up there. Granddad's uh, phone must have turned off. We're going to go up the hill here and see how he's going. Go get him, and then we can uh, go and uh, AB some heifers. They're all heading for that other gate over here. <laughs> They'll be coming. Let's just see how many we get today. Couple on there by the looks of that. One, two, three. Quite a few actually. It looks like it's a big day. Another six. Yeah. Right away. Sorting it out. We're not sorting out any yarn going up the hill today. Tomorrow we're going to shift those ones up and bring them down here through that gate. And then, so today, we're just gonna sort out the bullying ones. Big day to sort them out tomorrow, jeepers. There's about six, a uh, couple, five from yesterday, two from the day before, seven, and there's probably another six by the look of it today. Jeepers. Rubbed out well. Yeah, so you've got different colours. The end there represents different, different straws, different bulls. Different bulls, this is Andrews. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Even in calf, Andrew, that one. Shit, could be one. Get one in calf. That's a good start. I don't, at least I didn't have the new for Oh, look at that. Bloody legend status. So what's on that's for today, much? No. Leave ready to go lock and weigh. 
We got those done today. Awesome. Right, let's see what we get up to today. See you all back at the farm. We just got back from the runoff. I am going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to go home and have breakfast first because I need to grab a hat. I need to grab sunglasses. I need to get phone charged. And then we'll go down after we have breakfast, feed the calves, and we're going to go do some spraying of um, um, just around this tanker circle here and get some get it all sprayed up a bit, get a little tank out, spray around the, uh, the, the uh, irrigator's pump there, pumps into the tank and pumps the irrigator, and that'll be us, so pretty quiet day, and then we've also got to grease up the spreader, grease up the tractor, get it ready tomorrow, big day for spreading, <laughs> right, time for breaking. Hey everybody, so I've got my hat, I've got my headphones, we're off to go and feed the calves their meal, four bags today. That, those cows have fed their meal. We're gonna shoot back, go and uh, grab the little Fergie, go fill up that tank with some glyphosate and some um, mixosulfur mixture, which will spray on the driveway and just in a few areas just to help stop those uh, weeds growing in those areas. Right, let's oh, get it up. we got to load it up. So what the plan is, we actually spray around the edge of the yard here and spray around the uh, irrigated tank there and just around and down around the yard, uh, around the driveway and that, stop the weeds coming in. Get some time. Yeah, should keep it all good. Nice and tidy. Get on to that. So you just spraying that area sort of thing, stop the weeds coming up. Easy peasy. You go in front of here. to get a good video of them running over. They are running flat now because I'd hate to have stood in their way. Good boys. Yeah, there we go. I've sprayed all this out down that way, all the way back around here and all the edges. Sprayed all the edges to stop that grass growing and growing in towards the shed there. See, like that? That's all going to die off nicely. So this, we're going to get to spray. Uh, we're going to um, grease her up and, um, yeah, call it a day there. Easy peasy, greased her up, she's ready to go and we'll start spreading tomorrow. It's about, yeah, I think actually we're gonna go up to Granddad's and spread up his place tomorrow because we still believe we're not still quite wet down here even though on the weekend we got no rain at all. The, um, we're still quite wet, it's still quite soft in certain areas. And also those paddocks that we do want to spread, they've got a bit of grass in them so there's actually no point in going to those yet. And the areas that we have spread, they still might need a little bit of a squirt of um, of furt because it's still, there was that much rain, it's probably washed off a lot of it. It's not washed it off, washed it to the ground, but it's probably diluted it a bit. Could do with a bit of a squirt. And I suppose putting on the furt is a bit better than putting on a bit more urea. So put that furt on since we got it on order. That's the plan tomorrow. Let's go spread some up at Granddad's. Although Granddad's is quite steep, that's not my cup of tea. Dad will be doing that after we've done AB. So, but we'll see a big day sorting out those cattle up there. Two days of AB left up at Granddad's. 17th and 18th. Uh, here, I'm just washing the vat. We sent 4,985 litres today. So we were off by 15 litres. But you gotta remember they did take an extra probably five to 700 litres yesterday when they come and pick this up uh, during milking. So we're about the same as what we were the day before, uh, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, probably the same over the last three days, not that average. So just washing the vat, um, yeah, just 
finishing off the rinsing and then we're going to shoot up to uh, go and chip some thistles on the farm. I noticed there's some big thistles around the place. We're just going to go through some paddocks, mainly up on the clay here and we'll see how we go for time. We've got, I had to climb up here and make sure these are clean too. They look clean. I mean, yeah, they've been cleaned. The hot water did it, just like Dad said. See that? That would exit there. So it did. It did clean it. Anyway, I will take the little scrubber. Let's give it a quick scrub in here. Try not to drop it or else I'll be crawling into the vat. Both clean. Looks good. Happy. There. Easy as. Yeah. Right, with that, we'll go chip some thistles. Yeah, yeah. See in there? Little holes, so allow the steam to come out. Right, all done. That's another thistle down. Just going around with the thistles and rain water. once they're out of there. Lots of grass but as I've said before you can't put the cows in once the calves have been in there. They'll literally leave the areas where the calves have been sleeping or the calves have walked over. So that here just can't do it. Oh here's my first rag one. Right see you all at Milking tonight. He runs out of the paddock. She's just woken up. Come on! You're sunbathing too much. Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a stunning, beautiful day. Love to see. And uh, we're going to go feed out a bale of silage for the cows tonight. We're just about to uh, we'll go load up with a bale of silage now. Dad's really got to go get the girls in. I've already set up the cow shed. Let's see how many we get bowling today. We've already got five up the runoff. So we'll see how many more we get today. Right. That's us all loaded up for the night. I'll see you all at Girls are coming, but uh, still haven't come down the main straight here yet. Yes, we are still lifting the bonnets here on the tractors. Dad said he's seen a tractor one day. He Well, a tractor on here one day. Within two hours of him stopping that tractor and leaving it alone, a bird had built a nest in there. So it shows you how quick those little buggers are, especially starlings and blackbirds. They're pretty quick. Um, Right, so we're still leaving the bonnets up in our two tractors just to stop those little buggers. And there has been, I've heard of three tractors going up in the last year just in our area with uh, birds, with uh, tractor fires and that. So that's why we always lift those bonnets. The birds don't seem to nest in there when there's an airflow around it. Same with little Toot. She even gets her bonnet lifted up. Well, her little plate's lifted up to stop them nesting in there around the battery and in my, um, the, uh, fuel tank, things like that. So. Right, we are ready. Right, Let's get a quick the... rinse cycle through tonight before milking, just to cool that vat down a little bit more and help the uh, help the cooler and the chiller do its job. It starts off cooler, it's better too. Yeah, so pretty good. Stunning to see this nice sunny weather because we get a couple more days like this, we're gonna see that pink start to grow starting to dry, well not drying, but we're starting to get a little bit of grass growth now on the peak with the sun around. We'll keep it coming. For this afternoon is to stop the bulling cows from going in the first row. I've already got one to go in the second row there. Just that one there, she's in the second row. So that uh, I can get the first row gone before Dad gets here. There's a little mob of girls coming here that are bulling. It's about four here by the looks of it. 258. That's a sign she's bullying, standing. Awesome. So that's one bullying. There's two there, 258. Even the one behind her is bullying. Here's Alvis. One of the actual boss cows of the herd. See your little hairdo? That's why we call her Alvis. <laughs> but yeah, she's one of the boss cows of the herd. We've currently got five girls sitting out there. 
ready to go up to AB. Yeah, 168, good girl. It's all going well today. Girls are milking well. I did manage to get a row out before Dad come in. Here's another one. Pulling on there. Come on, girls. Pull up, come on. Come on, 33. Good girl. So I managed to get a row out before Dad come back. Just makes a difference. Come on, girls. <laughs> Here he is. Bye, Dad. That's good, that's good. <laughs> Just finishing up, washing up there. Bye, Dad! Yeah. And we'll go down and feed the cows some silage. Yeah, they're quite a fair way down. The uh, other girls are still walking their way down now. All right, let's go down and feed out. And that'll keep the girls happy for tonight. It's a very good quality bale of silage. They definitely like that over Dad's bales. That was from his place. You can definitely tell the difference. With that, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.